Today we're going to show you how to automate your pantry light to turn on when your door opens. Are we done yet? Hey. Even without someone in there. Hey, this is Pete, your Hubby Ted Hub Whisperer here, helping you make the most of your automated home. And today we're automating with the Ultra Pro Smart Switch and this Centralite Micro Door Sensor here. Uh, the Ultra Pro Switch is a Z-Wave switch just manufactured by Jasco, who have a pretty good reputation. It has interchangeable faceplate right here. It only came with white in the box, but there's ivory and brown and black and some other colors. You can order, pop it off pretty easy right there. One other nice feature about this switch is that on the back, um, you can use the line or load wires going into either one of these connections right here. Some switches you have to be careful, like this older one here. Um, you need to be careful if the line goes in there, that's the one, that's the hot wire, and the load comes out of that switch here. But for this one, it, it doesn't matter. Also, like our last switch video, this does have a bit of a, a thinner form factor, which is nice as well. So, our Centralite Micro Door Sensor right here, this is a Zigbee device. If you were just starting out, this is your first automation, I'd probably recommend that you go with either two Zigbee devices or two Z-Wave devices to help build your mesh. I've got a bunch of other devices to help with my mesh, so it's not as big of a deal for me. This is battery powered. It's got a nice small form factor, as you can see, which is pretty good. And uh, all you gotta do to, to get it into pairing mode is just remove this tab right there, pull that out, it'll start flashing, and you can go right into pairing. Um, it also comes with all this mounting hardware right here. You can either mount it with screws, or it's got these little sticky tabs right here, so you're good to go. So let's go into the kitchen and get this thing started. We're gonna start by installing our switch. As always, make sure the power is turned off at the breaker and always read the instruction manual before you begin. Now this installation, I will admit, installing a smart bulb probably would have been the easier solution. But since we have no need for color, a smart switch is just a more elegant solution. I always like to use switches over bulbs when I can. That way I have a manual override when I need it. And I don't need to worry about someone turning off the switch and then the automations for the bulb don't work. Now we could have also used a dimmer switch here it would have made it easier on the eyes you know if somebody's searching for a midnight snack but like is that something you want to encourage probably not once we have our switch installed here we're going to add it to our hub and it's always a good idea to test it out make sure it's working before you start building your automations moving on to the contact sensor we're going to add that to the hub before we drill our holes in the door and give that a test now we're installing this on the inside of our door so we need to make sure there's clearance so we can mount it correctly now that our contact sensor is mounted we can go build our rule now this is a pretty straightforward automation so we can just use basic rules. All we're trying to do is say that when our contact sensor opens, turn on the switch, then wait until the sensor closes and turn off the switch. Now if you really want to get fancy, you could put an illuminant sensor in the pantry and then only turn on the light when it's below a certain light level, but our pantry is always dark enough that it needs light so that would be pretty pointless in our situation. So we're going to save this rule. Now one more thing I want to add, occasionally my kids, and well their dad, forget to close the pantry door. So we're going to create a second rule, also in basic rules, that says when the door opens and stays open for too long, shut the light off. So we'll save that and see how it works. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. It works! Can I go back in now? Ah, what the heck, get in there. Right. Well I hope you found that helpful. Give us a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell to get notified of our next video. And as always, thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.